What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for everything Google we're talking about. Now, you won't need a car stereo to get the Android Auto experience anymore. That's because the Android Auto app just received an update that now lets you use your phone instead of having to buy an in car dash unit for your car. Now, all you really need is a car mount. The interface simplifies apps and blows them up in size to make them safer to use in a car. The app is rolling out on the Play Store over the next few days, and I'm getting excited to、uh, give it a spin. Get it? Android Auto Car Spin. Okay. Now, in more updates, new security updates are now available for Nexus and Pixel phones running Android 7.0 or 7.1. The Pixel phone also gets Bluetooth fixes and improved performance for the Daydream View VR headset before its launch November the 10th. And how is Nougat even doing? It's not really readily available on most phones, but it made the slightest of dents with a 0.3 adoption rate. Yes, that's 0.3. It's not even 1%. Now, Android Marshmallow debuted with the same percentage, but when you look at the breakdown, Android Kit Kat and Lollipop are still the most widely used flavors of Android, and this is just the nature of the Android OS. And the Google Home has debuted to solid reviews. It's not a game changer right now, but it excels in being a slightly smarter home assistant overall, thanks to the power of the Google Engine and the ability to ask follow up questions that are context sensitive. Play some pop music. It still doesn't know everything and significantly lacks in third party apps and smart home support. Bohemian Rhapsody by Panic at the Disco. Is this the real Alexa, stop. Life? Alexa, stop. It's not even close to the Echo, which has a two year lead, and really that's one of its great strengths. Bottom line if you want to try out the Home AI space, the Google Home is a great start if you never had one before and you're in the Google ecosystem. But if you own an Echo right now, there's really no reason to switch over to a Google Home because the Echo just does more. Now, the real story here is in a year or two, how does Google's AI get even smarter because you know it will? And does it really amp up its third party support? Because if it can, that's what might win the long run. But again, we'll see how this all plays out. Okay, Samsung's in the AI game as well with their recent acquisition of Viv, the team behind the original Siri AI that Apple uses. But Viv is the next evolution and a whole lot smarter. A Reuters report says Samsung now plans to integrate the AI platform into its Galaxy smartphones and is even looking to take it further to add voice assistant services to its home appliances and even its wearables. Now, a Wall Street Journal report says Samsung is also considering a hardware revamp for its next phone and could add a dedicated button for their new AI assistant. The latest internal prototypes of the Galaxy S8 include a button on the side edge of the smartphone that would be used to prompt it. Now, Samsung is also looking to delay the announcement of the new S8 until after the Mobile World Congress show in late February, and it could come even as late as April 2017. In a little quick bit, YouTube is adding support for HDR videos. That's the buzzword you've heard that stands for high dynamic range. It really brings better contrast, deeper blacks, and a wider color gamut that I can only describe as making HD look even more HD. Like, once you see it, you'll know. The Chromecast Ultra will be the first device to support this, and after that, Samsung SUHD and UHD TVs will get support for it later this year. And before we go, Google's DeepMind project wants to get even smarter. It already was able to conquer the world champion in Go, and it now has its sights set on StarCraft II. Now, DeepMind is partnering with Blizzard to create an open research environment that will allow AIs and machine learning systems to interact and better understand one of the greatest games of all time. Like, StarCraft was my jam during my college days. Shout out to the Zerg. But if DeepMind is able to pull this off, it will just show you how powerful this AI really is and what could be next for DeepMind. First, It's a game of Go, then StarCraft II, and finally, the world. Like, I'm not scared about that at all. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can always email me at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.